Hey everybody, welcome to Skills on Sunday for January 3rd, 2021. I'm your host, DM Galapond. You know how some people just seem to be gifted at everything? I mean, they're great creative writers, they're really good artists, they know couple of kinds of martial arts they're good at picking stocks um, they just have the gift of gab when it comes to picking up picking up girls or guys or, or whatever they're into yeah don't those people just annoy you well today we're gonna talk about those people in D&D &D. we're gonna talk about the people that have the feat called skill expert and how they just seem to annoy everybody else or if you happen to be playing a skill expert how you can take advantage of that and we're also going to look a little bit at the history of skill expert um, and its predecessors throughout uh, the various editions of D&D &D. all right so here we go all right, the antecedent to skill expert um, first came in in third edition. And in third edition, it was something called skill focus. And what skill focus would do is it would give you plus three bonus on checks with a selected skill. And you could take it multiple times, but you had to, it, you had to apply it to a different skill every time you took it as a feat. And then to elaborate more on it, it was choose a skill such as move silently. You have special knack with that skill. You get a plus three bonus in all checks involving that skill, and you can gain this feat multiple times. As effects do not stack. Each time you take the feat, it applies to a different skill. Yeah, okay. Then in fourth edition, that remained as a feat, and it remained skill focus. Training in a chosen skill, plus three to checks with a chosen skill. And kind of to elaborate and tease that out a little bit more, choose a skill in which you have training. You have plus three feet bonus to check that skill. You take this feat more than once. Each time you select this feat, choose a different skill. All right, so pretty consistent there, right? Now let's see how Skill Expert uh, has uh, come about. And if you haven't heard of this feat before, in D and D five E, it's because it's relatively new. It just it just came into the game officially with Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. So November of twenty twenty is when this uh, when this officially became part of the game. You have honed your proficiency with particular skills, granting you the following benefits. You increase one ability score of your choice by one to a maximum of twenty. You gain proficiency in one skill of your choice. Pro tip, if you're going to do this, you might as well raise the ability score that you are going to apply the proficiency bonus uh, to the skill because then you get the most bang for your buck. Uh, now, if you already, now if you really are just looking for different ways to raise some of your stats, to uh you know higher than what they are uh you can mix and match you can um you can raise an ability score that has nothing to do with the skill if the skill that you want to impact is already in a um ability score that has a high high score so you can do that but i'm just going to say if you want to maximize the effectiveness of you know and magnify what you're able to do with this if you put the related ability score increase and then focus on a skill tied to that ability score, you're going to get kind of extra synergies there. And choose one skill in which you have proficiency. You gain expertise with that skill, which means your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check you make with it. Skill you choose must be one that isn't already benefiting from a feature such as expertise that doubles your proficiency bonus. So now if you really want to triple magnify, you can, let's just say, 
from the example of third edition of stealth. So let's say you want to you want to focus on stealth. You could uh, raise your dexterity by one, gain proficiency in stealth, and then gain expertise in stealth, which doubles your proficiency bonus. So now you've not only raised the underlying uh, ability score, added proficiency in that skill, but now in one fell swoop, you've also doubled it. But you could just as easily, once again, raise dexterity because maybe that's a low a lower score for you and then maybe what you want to do is you want to gain proficiency in a skill that is good but you don't have your proficiency bonus in it yet so maybe that's history um uh, which is intelligent so you go and you um you add uh you add proficiency in history so now that you have a little bit better uh whatever your proficiency bonus is plus two plus three whatever at that point in your adventuring career you have that bonus on top of your history and then let's say that you're a caster and what you really want is you really want to be able to double your proficiency in something like arcana so that you can gain expertise in arcana and you know better tease out secrets of magical um, items or um, you know understand what spells uh, an enemy caster is trying to cast or something like that so then you can gain expertise in arcana if you already have proficiency so two different ways of looking at it you can either spread the wealth and get bonuses applied to three separate skills or you can magnify and focus and just stack all of those on top of each other and really become um, super 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 good with one particular skill based on using this feat so up to you that's the choice a player makes all right uh and as long as you're having fun you know there's no wrong answer. Okay, that's going to do it. I'm Dia McGallabon. You have been yourself. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, click post notification bell, all that good jazz. Uh, tell your friends about us. Make 2021 the best year yet. And we hope we will see you here next time for Skills on Sunday. Good night, everybody. Thank you.